So the day we're talking, dry and wild. This is our ever popular wrap dress. Um, this dress we've got in many, many prints online. It's an absolute DLSB HQ um, firm favorite. Um, this dress is really popular for um, how we style it, fully plunged. Um, but today I'm going to show you how to change it from wrap, which is how I'm wearing it now, to um, half plunged, to fully plunged, to then reversing it backwards. Okay, so there's lots of different ways you can wear this. I stumbled upon this a couple of years ago when I was looking for um, a way to wear the dress. I absolutely adore the print, but I felt it was too covered and I just stumbled across it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you um, the different ways you can style it. First off, I'm going to talk a little bit about the dress. Um, the dress itself, I would say it's true to size. Um, we have had customers who have gone down the size in this because it is, um, you know, very roomy. It's got a lot of fabric in it with it being a full wrap dress. Me personally, um, I prefer to get my true to size um, size. I'm a size 10. I'm wearing a size 10. Um, that's mainly because I like to wear it different ways and I prefer to have a little bit more fabric to play with. Um, so yeah, I prefer to have it, um, you know, my size. Um, quality wise, it's amazing. The fit is amazing. Um, it's fully lined as well, uh, which is great. Um, it's got this amazing sleeve, um, which I'll just show you here. Really beautiful bagging on the sleeve. Um, little tip for your sleeve, I've got really slim arms. So um, I sometimes will pop on a little Little hair bobble here just to hold it in place um, but yeah it's got an amazing sleeve um, I think you'll agree it's absolutely beautiful so here I'm wearing it and it is uh, fully wrapped so I've got the little tie here at the side um, this way I wore it um, I was going for a meal and I wanted something you know a little less covered obviously you can wear a bra like this I preferred to have it a little bit more plunging but not full plunged so I'm just going to show you. Um, so basically, you've got your traditional um, wrap at the side. Normally, you'd wrap a wrap dress at the side. So I would just go to tie it as normal, but maybe just loosen that that tie off. So I, I've still got it, you know, knotted at the side here. I've just loosened it off a little, just to reveal a little bit more neckline there. So as you can see, it's a little bit more and it's a little bit looser. I'm then going to pull the knot. So I'm keeping the knot at the at the side, but I'm just slowly pulling it to the middle of the dress. So I've still got my knot, same traditional way you would tie a wrap dress, but instead I'm going to tie it at the front and in the middle instead, okay? This is obviously really nice and flat room for your stomach as well, just having the, taking the knot from the side to the front, you know, it just disguises any little lumps and bumps, your little mum tongue or what have you. So yeah, just pulling the knot to the front and again, I'm going to come a little bit closer and then I'm just going to knot it at the front, okay? So I have loosened it off and I've knotted it and there you see I've got it a little bit more revealing. You could probably still wear a plunge bra, you could put a little camisole or a really nice uh, balconette bra. You could look for something in a similar colour. So you just have a little flash there. Um, so yeah, just a nice, I'll call this like maybe a little half plunge because it's not full, you know, full glamorous plunge. But really nice way to wear it. I was going for food and I just thought it was a little bit more dressed. So yeah, so that's your half plunge. Um, full plunge, I have got my Bridget Jones underwear on for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to show you a full plunge. Now it is a little bit um, complicated how I tie it, um, but I've got several reasons why I tie it this way. Um, for me, I feel like tying it this way, it really pulls in my waist and it really holds that knot in place. Obviously when you change it from a wrap to a plunge, you do have a little bit of a gaping gap at the front. Um, and for me, tying it this way, the way I'm going to show you, um, basically these ties kind of fill in that gap. And obviously, if you want to secure it with a safety pin, always a good idea. So I'm going to fully unwrap the dress. I'm just going to come a little bit closer and hold that. So fully unwrapping it, taking the tie out of the side. And I've got my Bridget Joneses on here as well. So fully unwrapped, okay? I've got my two ties here. So two ties, I am literally gonna just do a tie, do a knot, okay? Now, one length is um, longer than the other, so you want the longer of the two ties on the top, okay? So as you can see here, I'm gonna just pull in and you can see, you know, I mean, you can see that absolute amazing ruching. 
So it's really pulled in my waist. Also the ruching, really flattening on your stomach, your hips. And obviously that knot in the middle draws your eye to the smallest part of your body, which is your waist. So super, super flattering. So I pull that in and then I've got my bottom tie here. And then I'm gonna pull over the longer tie a little bit complicated, I'm gonna come a little bit further forward and I'm gonna pull that over so this now creates my beautiful knot, okay? So this creates my beautiful knot and then I'm gonna keep my little tie here, my long tie, I'm gonna, see the knot here? I'm gonna put it through that knot, okay? So I'm gonna go through the side. Now that's really just gonna hold that knot in place, okay? So that's gonna hold my knot, hold my knot. So I've got one tie here, and then I've got one tie here, okay? Then I'm gonna pull my longer tie all the way around the back. So again, that's gonna pull in my waist. So I'm gonna pull it all the way around, back to the front, okay? So I've got my long tie and I've got my little tie here. I'm then gonna just loosen off my lovely knot, okay? So I'm gonna loosen my knot off and I'm gonna put the long tie through there. And that literally is just gonna keep this knot in place keep your waist pulled in and keep the knot in place, okay? So that's through the middle. I've come a little bit closer. And then I'm gonna just, with the two ties, just trying to show you here, with the two ties, okay, so that's the way it's looking. I'm gonna do another knot. And this knot's gonna sit underneath my beautiful knot and it's gonna keep everything in place, okay? So I'm gonna do another little knot. I'm gonna pull it really tight. So I pulled that really, really tight. And as you can see, I've got my beautiful knot and I've got my little knot here. Now, what we're talking about before is, um, you know, we've got full plunge here and you do have a little bit of a gap. <laughs> um, but again, these the purpose of me tying it in this little bit more complicated way is because this kind of fills in that, that gap. Um, obviously, me, I do pop a little safety pin in here and then I just let them two little ties hang there, okay? So as you can see, like I was saying before, it creates this amazing, super um, beautiful, glamorous um, plunging neckline. It's pulled in my waist and it's feeling all tight and secure because I've got those two knots there and a little safety pin. Um, it also creates this beautiful um, silhouette, gorgeous sleeves, and it's just a really nice way to wear it. Obviously, um, when you're walking, you know, you've got a little bit more leg now that you've plunged it from wrap to plunge as well. Um, you know, we get a lot of people asking about, oh, I'm a little bit shorter than the model, can I wear this dress? I would say definitely, you know, we've got staff in the office who are shorter than me, you know, who have wore this dress. And because it's kind of uh, mid axi you know, even if the back is kind of trailing on the floor a little bit, but as you can see from the side, it goes up at the front once you plunge it. So it just looks absolutely stunning and it still, you know, reveals your shoes at the front. It's not too long. I actually think it would be fine a little bit longer, um, almost like a maxi or a mid -axi. Um, So really, really nice. And, you know, you just feel amazed in this dress. It's so glamorous and so beautiful for any occasion um you know i regularly wear um the dress fully wrap we've got lots of cool prints i love the lilac leopard i pop that on with my dot martens and i wear that just to go to work in during the day um, and like i said if i was going for food i might go for a little half plunge and if i was going out out to a, a beautiful occasion or an, you know a girls night out i might want to fully glamorize it and fully plunge it um, but we have got a print online for everybody so please do check out the style online um, it's super flattering for any shape or size any height um, and we've got a print for everybody online